One more timesheet example. Rick O'Shea is a tennis pro. He is paid his regular hourly wage between 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock in the morning and 1 o'clock till 5 o'clock in the afternoon, Monday to Friday. For any hours beyond this time, so anything outside of those times, whether it's earlier, later, over his lunch hour, or on the weekend, he is paid time and a half. Complete his time card and find his gross weekly pay. Now we have gone through an example of filling out a time card in a previous video. So I'm going to cut through that a little bit and we're going to concentrate more on the differences between regular time and overtime. However, on Wednesday, he also earned some overtime. So he worked from 6 to 8.45. That gives me 2.75 hours. Plus, he put in some overtime on that day of 2.75 hours. Let's start filling in this time card. Let's start with regular hours. All I'm going to do is add up all of those regular hours in that column right there. And when I do that, I find that Rick has put in 33.75 hours. His hourly rate is $15 an hour. If I multiply those two together, for his regular time this week, Rick has earned $506.25. Next, let's look at his overtime. That's this column right here. For overtime, Rick has put in a total of 5.5 hours. Now he's paid time and a half for his overtime. I should figure out what that's going to be. So he's going to earn $22.50 an hour. Five point five hours times twenty two fifty an hour earns Rick one hundred twenty three dollars and seventy five cents. Add those together, and Rick earns a total of six hundred thirty dollars for this week. That's his gross wages. And the last thing we should fill out is the total hours he worked: thirty three point seven five plus five point five. He worked a total of thirty nine point two five hours this week. And that's Rick O'Shea's time card. You just have to be careful and keep your overtime and your regular time separate.